I will explain how to solve uh, some tricky problems. Uh, we'll start with this problem. Here the first question in this session is, what was the day of the week on 15th August 1947? That is an Independence Day, 15th August 1947, right? So, first of all, we need to calculate uh, 15th August 1947. I already told you that uh, whenever you are solving the problems related to calendars, most of the questions are based on odd days. Most of the questions are based on odd number of days. So, first we need to find how many odd days are there in 15th August 1947. If number of odd days are zero, then that week is called as a Sunday. This one is already told you guys regarding this one. Number of odd days are always from 0 to 6. Week is always uh, starts with Sunday and ends with uh, Saturday. Week is always starts with Sunday and ends with uh, Saturday. That is from 0 to 6. Now, first of all, we need to find the number of odd days in this 1947, 15th August. So, if you look at this date, 15 August is nothing but 8. 15, 8, 1947. 15, 8, 1947. In this date, uh, how to solve this problem is, first of all, you need to divide this entire date into two categories, two parts. One is, left hand side is completed years. Completed years. Whereas, right hand side is current year. Right hand side is current year or running year, whatever it is. Here, current year is 1947th year. As we are calculating 15th August 1947, therefore, current year is obviously 1947th year. Here, the year is not completed. We are calculating the date of 15th August. So, you need to write uh, all the number of days starting from January to August 15th only. Why? Because uh, we are calculating August 15th. Starting is January. January month consisting of 31 days, February. Here, 1947 is uh, Normally, yeah, that is not a leap year. So, February month consisting of uh, 28 days. Uh, and next, March 31, April 30, May 31, June 30, July 31, right? And after that, August, basically in August, we are having 31 days, but uh, as we are calculating August 15, that is the reason why I have taken up to August 15. Suppose if you are calculating March 29, March 29, then you need to write only up to March 29. There is no need of writing entire year. In the current year, what is the date you are calculating? That date only you have to write. Now, in this, uh, in 31 days, uh, don't add all these numbers at a time. Why? Because you will get some uh, big number. Instead of that, it is better to cancel with the uh, 7 table and what is the remainder you can uh, you can get from this number. Here, while dividing uh, 31 with the 7, you will get the remainder as 3. See, number of orders. How can you get the number of orders? Basically, by dividing with 7, whatever the remainder is left over, that is the number of orders. Here, 27 remainder 0. Why? Because 7 fours are 28. That is exactly 4 weeks. 31, 3, 30, 2, 31, 3 orders, 30, 2 orders, 31, 3 orders, 15, uh, 2 weeks plus 1 extra day. Again, you can cancel 7 days. Why? Because 7 days is nothing but 1 week. 3 plus 3 plus 1, 7 days. Again, 3 plus 2 plus 2, 7 days cancel. Now, right hand side, you are left over with 3 days. Now, you have to calculate left hand side. Left hand side, completed years. How many years are completely over? 1946 years. 1946 years are completely over, right? Now, 
Again, I am dividing these 1946 years into some parts. First, I will take maximum 400 multiple. Maximum 400 multiple in 1946. That is 1600. 1600. Why I am taking maximum 400 multiple means here for every 400 years of uh, uh, for, a, for every 400 years number of odd days are always zero. That is the reason why I am taking uh, maximum 400 multiple. After that I will take maximum century. Maximum century is 300. 1600 plus 300 plus 46. Here 1600 plus 300 that is equal to 1900. Still we are left over with 46 years. For 1600 years number of odd days are 0. For every 400 multiple of years number of odd days are 0. For 300 years number of odd days are 1. These uh, values we already calculated in the uh, first session, oh, sorry, second session. So, you can go through that session. Now, uh, you will get, you, you can know that how to get these uh, values. Uh, for every 400 multiple number of, uh, number of odd days, uh, 0. For 300 years, number of odd days, 1. 200 years, 3. And 100 years, uh, 5. Now, here 46 years are left over. Now, you can divide these 46 years into normal years and leap years. In these 46 years, uh, basically you can divide with 4 in order to get the number of leap years as there are no centuries. Here we have uh, 11 leap years. 11 leap years and the remaining 35 are normal years. Every normal year consisting of 1 odd day, leap year consisting of 2 odd days. This value is equal to 22 and this value is equal to 35. Here 35 is... Uh, exactly divisible by 7 therefore number of odd days 0 here 22 by 7 remainder is 1 now finally how many odd days are left over both left hand side and right hand side left hand side 0 plus 1 plus 1 that is 2 left hand side 2 right hand side 3 total 2 plus 3 which is equal to 5 odd days Number of odd days are 5 odd days. If number of odd days are 5, then that week is Friday. That week is Friday. Therefore, our required answer for this question is Friday. If number of odd days are 5, then that week is called as Friday. Option C is the right answer. In this way, we can solve these kind of problems. Now, I will explain few more problems based on this one. Why? Because these are very important. Let's move on to the next question. See here. 4th June 2002. 4th June 2002. As we are continuously discussing these kind of problems, uh, left hand side, every time no need of writing uh, uh, completed years and uh, current year. 2001 years are already completed and the current year is uh, 2002. Current year is 2002. And coming to this case, here we are calculating the date 4th June. So, you have to write up to 4th June. Jan, Feb, March, April, May. In June, you have to write up to only 4. Why? Because you are calculating 4th June. Here in January, 31 days. And coming to February... 2002 is not a leap year. That is the reason why number of odd, number of days in February 28. March, April, May 31. So, you can cancel with the 7. 4 weeks plus extra days are 3. Here 0. Here 31. Means 3. 2. Here you can cancel with 7. Right. Now, here it is 4 plus 3, 7. Cancel. Here it is total 8, 8 days. 8 by 7, again remainder is equal to 1. Right hand side, the value is 1. Now you can calculate number of odd days to the left hand side. These are the completed years. In these 2001 years, maximum 400 multiple is 200, 2000 plus 1. 2000 plus 1. 
for 2000 years number of odd days are zero next uh, one year that one year is normal year only so in this one year we have we are having only one odd day 1 plus 1 that is 2 1 plus 1 total number of odd days uh, 2 odd days total number of odd days are 2 so 0 is equal to Sunday 1 is equal to Monday and 2 is equal to Tuesday. If number of odd days are 2, then that week is called as Tuesday. Option D is the right answer. Option D. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the session. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.